Good morning, guys. It is day four. Um, time for the morning weigh-in. We got the pan. <clears throat> Just got my new protein powder in. It's an 11-pound bag. It's pretty heavy, guys. All right, guys. Just. Uh, finished eating, um, heading to the gym now, uh, so I'll see y'all, see y'all there. Done guys, 100 calories, 8 minutes. Finally made it home guys. Um, so for lowering my carb intake uh, by 25 grams, um, because I'm still, I gained weight today, but I mean, I figured that out based on, <clears throat> you know, the day before I had thrown up. Uh, but I also um, am trying to be at my goal weight, which was 149 um, from the start of this cut. So I need to lose some more weight now. Um, so cut the carbs, um, kept the fat still the same. Although if tomorrow um, I don't go down in weight, I'll cut the uh, fats as well. But I just want to show you all what I'm eating. Uh, I'm sorry, my desk is a little messy. Just trying to get things um, trying to get organized um, so I'm gonna spend some time later today to clean um, but here's the food got the tilapia broccoli and sweet potatoes avocado and frozen raspberry and so time to eat alright guys it is the end of the day now quick Recap of today, um, I feel like today has gone a lot smoother. I feel like I have a process now. Um, so even though I had to lower my calories, I figured out a way to you know smoothly lower the calories. It's good and I'm used to now just inputting my macros every morning, weighing myself, weighing the food out. A lot smoother. And I feel a lot better and so from now on it's just mainly just focusing on being consistent now and just 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 doing it um yes because the hard part i mean the beginning was kind of hard but the next hard part after this is possibly probably going to be um just uh doing this consistently because i'm eating the same food for the next 90 days the same food, same everything, so, um, but it would be like clockwork, I just, just do it, and should be good to go. Um, as far as roadblocks or anything like that, nothing really today, um, just typical, go to work, come back, eat, work out, so, um, just, just trying to keep it simple. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to... You know, finally drop below uh, 151. My goal is to be at 149 point, below 149.1, hopefully before the end of the week. So I have until Sunday to do that. So I'm going to keep aggressively lowering the calories. I um, also did cardio today as well too. So, um, so that help. That's going to help with increasing the metabolism and hopefully you know, burning some calories. Although you're going to burn that, really burn those calories during the run, but should help a little bit so yeah guys that's the recap for today all right
So the topic for today will be on love and I think the question I want to um, answer is what's an aspect of love that you feel is very important? Um, so I would say consistency is probably the most important uh, thing in uh, in any in a relationship. So what do I mean by that? I would say um, just being able to show up every day and be able to you know do things that you say you're going to do or um, that you've done for someone you love and and just consistently showing that would help solidify solidify the love and relationship because um, it's very hard to be very consistent. That's something that I really learned from taking on the gym and just well with anything you do right like with the gym it's it's very crazy to see how you can change so much just by, cons by being consistent. Just like when you go to the gym right you work out one day or you diet one day you're not really going to see results but it's through doing it consistently over a long period of time is when you will see that result. So just like with love, you'll have to do these things that show like I care about this person and care about them. And so for you and that other person to finally feel this thing called love, it really does take consistent work. And so because you're not, you're not going to feel love by just doing one act of kindness or going on one date or um, just um, hanging out one for like three hours one day it just doesn't it doesn't work like that um, it's only through continuously hanging out and and being there for one another and consistently just showing up and doing things together and um, that is when you really eventually went for whatever at one point it's just going to turn into love. All I want to say is if you feel like like love is dead or or whatnot, it's just really how 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 consistent have you been? And of course, you know, there's specifics to that too, right? Like, you know, just cuz you show up and you argue or you do whatever, it's not going to uh help with that love, but it's like consistently showing up and just doing what you what you're supposed to do, just like with the gym, you know can't just go to the gym and just be at the gym and you have to go to the gym and you have to actually put in the work and like work out, lift the weights um, and also eat right. Um, it's not good enough to just have food in front of you. So yeah guys, um, hope that was encouraging for you guys. Other than that, don't forget it's never too late for you to be good.